<laughs> this is Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary. All right, it and is my Chris. week for fact or fiction. We're gonna close up shop with this. Um, all right, so there's a couple of different stories that, that popped out this past week, both from Yahoo Sports, and they made like big national uh, news and whatnot. Uh, the first was how the AAC TV deal could impact the future of college football rights. The second was uh, Dan Wetzel's how cord cutting can change the entire landscape of college football. Cord cutting, look, we've been talking about ESPN and whatnot for a couple of years now, about how many subscribers they're losing and blah, blah, blah. They were at 110 subscribers or 110 million subscribers. They're down to like 85 million, which is still huge. Yes. Um, but they have, we've, we've got all these different conference cable networks that bring in so much money. So first thing we'll touch on is cord cutting can change the entire landscape of college football. Um, before we get into the, the fact or fiction. Um, the Big Ten Network is in trouble because c- their 10-year deal with Comcast is up. Comcast is the biggest cable provider in the country, and it is especially big in the Big Ten footprint. So when the Big Ten Network debuted, it jumped onto the basic cable subscriptions, and you get you know about a dollar, almost a dollar, from every cable subscriber in that area. And then it got tossed onto all these other cable subscriptions across the country, like in secondary markets. Well, Comcast now is wanting to take that off of basic cable and move it back to a secondary package. So for anybody that, you know, has a basic cable subscription and you have to buy like the sports package, that's what this will be on. And the deal here is if they cut that out, how much money is that cutting out? from the Big Ten Network. If enough people cut out, will the Big Ten Network still be able to survive? And that's where all of this comes in. The AAC TV deal is up next year. They start negotiating in February. Now, the rumors across the board are that Facebook, Amazon, uh, not Netflix, but, you know, Twitter, streaming streaming, streaming services, and then HBO is possibly looking to get involved in live sports. The the deal is you can advertise. You can, like, you draw in a crowd because people don't really DVR games. Nope. It's all like, live. It's all live. So sports you've got an engaged... Are the one live thing that you can't watch later. You, you have a very engaged audience with live sports. So the AAC's TV deal, when they first joined in, was with... ESPN, it was after the Big East had broken up, all this. It was a seven-year, $126 million contract, which is pennies on the dollar. Where where Ohio State and Michigan and, and whatnot made about $50 million off of TV last year because of ESPN, Fox Sports, whatever, teams like Memphis, UCF, uh, Houston, whoever, made $2 million dollars off TV last year. It's a lot less than 50. Yes, way less. So it, it completely that chops that out. Now, if you've got Facebook and whatever jumping in, that look, I've pointed this out on the website before, winningcureseverything.com. Uh, I've pointed it out that UCF and South Florida and Memphis and blah, 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 all had very similar numbers at different parts of the year compared to the power conferences. Like, their, their brand is getting bigger. The problem is, as their brand gets bigger, the cable footprint gets smaller. So the amount of money that places might be able to put into it, Fox Sports, ESPN, whatever, that's another thing, by the way, about the Big Ten Network. Fox Sports 1 has been cut from basic cable back to secondary stuff again because there's just not enough people watching it. So the deal here is can Facebook and Amazon and whatever or ESPN or whoever, like maybe ESPN with their ESPN Plus package, which is all streaming, can they offer enough money to make the AAC relevant? That's where this whole thing gets crazy, right? My fact or fiction is this. The current TV climate will force the NCAA to split the group of five and the Power Five conferences into two separate divisions. Fact or fiction? I'm going to say fiction. I think all these schools are going to find a way to continue to do business the way they have. One, they have this 
glorious thing called free labor. That is true. And how long and is that so, going to go though? Uh, but if that changes, other people, advertisers will be paying for that. That's a thing. So the schools aren't going to pay for it. And then also, just like everything else, when money gets tight, when people are fat and they're living with these fat budgets, they spend money on things they don't need, they don't have to have, but we're big and we're rich and we just buy it. And that's what these schools are doing, okay? Yeah. And, and now what will happen is all these analysts that are former coaches or our big name guys and real football guys will go back to being GAs and all right, it's as part of your work study program and we're going to give you 20 grand a year. That's, that's a big different than a couple hundred thousand a year to some of these big uh, name guys that are doing yeah, it big time. So, so I think nothing will change other than the schools will have to adapt. The athletic departments will have to adapt. So I don't think we're going to get separated. Um, I do think we're, we're always going to have the haves and the have nots that we have now. I don't think that's going to change. Um, but, but along the, the – the, I, I have a statement that I firmly believe is true. The first conference that goes to streaming instead of a standard TV package, at the end of the 10 years, when it's all said and done, the money they will generate will be more than any TV deal has generated over a 10-year span. Now, does that go the same for – the group of five conferences, or yeah, I think I think if the you think AA, there's enough fans because yeah, think of the the AAC is the perfect model to do this in because while Memphis is in the hotbed of the SEC country, everybody around here still supports Memphis and wants to watch Memphis games because they want to be relevant in the conversation. Think about the cities that the AAC is in: Dallas, Houston. Houston Cincinnati, alone, Houston Tampa. alone is bigger than every SEC town combined. If you take the entire SEC and all the cities of all the SEC schools are in, and you add their population, I bet it's not as big as Houston. I mean, if you throw in Nashville, no, like, Nashville's the only outlier because Vanderbilt's in Nashville. That's, that's what I'm saying. And Vanderbilt <laughs> doesn't count. And you're like but, Vanderbilt doesn't. They're not a real SEC they're not, program. They're, they're, hang on. <laughs> Let's be careful. They're an original founding member, and they got the best attorneys. They're never leaving. That's true. So, and we want them. They pull our academics up. Uh, <laughs> but, but think about it. You're talking about Memphis, Houston, Dallas, uh, Tampa, Philadelphia, Connecticut. Like, the Northeast has a ton of people that live there. Yeah. Like, we don't think about my, it because they're little. But my question is, like, are there enough people that care enough yes. to do it? Yes. But all the issue the sports, that you had. All the sports fans there will absolutely pay for whatever the subscription is. The reason that the realignment stuff jumped in was that the reason it all happened was so that you could get more TV sets. Correct. Because but what TV you were doing... TV sets are going the way of the dinosaur. And I know. If you think but, in 10 years, hold on, TV's hold on. going to be around no, the way I understand it is now, that, you're but wrong. The deal is people are now only paying for what they actually consume. How many people would actually consume this? College football fans I, I don't think it's nearly as big as you think. College football fans will absolutely pay for it. College football fans will, but how many of them are there? I think like there for plenty. the smaller teams. I think there are plenty because those small teams are in big cities, and people want to be engaged in what's going on in their local town. Damn. There are there are non football there are non football fans that I have friends of that could they couldn't tell you anything other than Alabama wins a lot and Ohio State wins a lot. But if you were like you know what's going on at Ole Miss, be like I don't know, you freeze is pretty good, right? Like they 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 pay that little attention. But if you bring up the Memphis Tigers, but, but they want to have a conversation about the Memphis Tigers because that's their hometown. That makes and sense. They want, and they're not even real fans. They'll pay for it. And what comes along in all those cities is not just lots of people, lots of money. Okay, when you get into SEC country, we got a lot of SEC fans. SEC fans are broke. We have a lot of that's poor true. states. We have poor states in all the country. Uh, yeah, and they, but we spend money on stupid stuff, we, well, and no, this would be I'm one not, thing. I'm that not they pay saying money they for. won't pay for it. I'm not saying they won't support it because the fans are rabid and they and they absolutely care, and it's important to them. But I'm telling you, you're talking about these cities, ten bucks a month for what for for the yeah. I'm gonna watch the UConn games. You live in Connecticut, you make like three hundred grand a year, and you're living middle class because it's so high a cost of living. 
What's ten bucks a month is nothing. You're gonna I'm with you. you're you're graduated from UConn or you know somebody who did and you're gonna get it. Okay. Because I'd... you're not just gonna get football. It's gonna be the whole thing. So all the people that support UConn basketball are gonna buy in. That's all true. All the people that support Memphis basketball are gonna be in. So everything comes along with it. I am I am curious. I'm curious to see how it's gonna work but out. But I definitely think the first I... the first conference to stream will will blow away the numbers when that 10-year deal is over because it's going to be cheap at first. It's just like Netflix. You get everybody in, you get them real, real cheap, and then every year you bump it up a couple of dollars and nobody cares and everybody keeps paying it. Because they, they love the content because, that they Because getting. they love the content they're getting. They're glad to pay it. But you make it cheap at first because you got to work kinks out, you got to work bugs out. You know you're going to have server issues in the middle of a game and people are going to be pissed. It's going to happen. But it's just one of those things where I, it will I, be better long term. I than firmly any believe other that regular TV is going the way of the dinosaurs, and in ten years, I think all these guys are going to have contracts that are going to be streaming related. I think you're probably right. You're probably right. All right, that's going to wrap it up. You guys know what to do. WinningCuresEverything.com. Go check it out. Subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher. Uh, there's a new Google Podcast out. So if you've got an Android, download the Google Podcast app. We are on there. Uh, get, download, subscribe, review, five-star reviews, written reviews. Knock that thing out. Every 25 that we get, we are donating 25 bucks to uh, St. Jude and or Le Bonner. So we did St. Jude the first time. We'll do Le Bonner the second time. Um, what else do we need to, to hit today? Follow us on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah. That's a big thing. YouTube. You, YouTube's our new thing. YouTube.com slash Winning Cures Everything. Subscribe over it, there. But it's good. Uh, leave comments, all that wonderful stuff. And, of course, as always, mybookie.ag, promo code WCE50, 50% deposit bonus, which means you drop in 50 bucks, they're going to give you 25. You drop in 100 bucks, they're going to give you 50 bucks. You get free money. There's nothing better in the world than free money. So, as always, follow us on Twitter, at Winning Cures. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Winning Cures. Everything, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, Google Play, Google Podcasts, whatever, YouTube, all the wonderful things. But for now, we're gone. Y'all have a good week.